There are concerns over the spread of harmful content about health and neurological conditions and disorders on one of the most popular social media platforms, TikTok. But the app is also used by many to raise awareness and tackle stigmas, like Jessie Davis from Mountain Ash, who documents her life with a stammer. Katie Fenton has more. What can we get you today? A higher. Uh, can I have a, a strawberry like, coconut refresher drink, please? Ordering at a drive through It might seem like nothing to you, but for Jessie, it's a huge challenge. Uh, before my journey, I had I'd never done it before as I was too like, scared. As you are just uh, speaking uh, to a like, box, and when you have a... a a stammer, it is so important to have the eye contact. That, 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 that is like everything, I thank you. No problem with you. But it's now a fear she overcomes regularly, and she shares every moment of it with her 3.1 million followers on TikTok. I share my videos on TikTok because it's not spoken about enough at all. and. I'm on my own, a little like journey, and I am just like documenting it. And I hope it, in, I hope it in, inspires, but also educates. Millions of videos are posted to TikTok every day, and you can search for specific content like Jesse's stammer videos through hashtags. But some hashtags are causing some concern because of the kind of content they can attract. Now, I'm scrolling through an eating disorder awareness hashtag, and while I must say most of it is positive, I'm not going to show you the screen because some harmful videos can slip through the cracks. And that's enough to keep Holly, who's recovering from an eating disorder, off the app entirely. Sounded good to me. I have heard of some bizarre trends, things like putting sugar on cucumber in order to curb your um, cravings. Also the what I eat in a day videos. Um, I know that a lot of them have been promoting um, so that the calorie intake is just extremely restrictive. If we were to see something like that, it could lead us down a path in which our eating disorder just grabs a hold of that and wants us to restrict our eating. Holly's fears are echoed by health professionals like Cardiff-based doctor Banar Talabani, who uses TikTok to tackle misinformation she says is rife. The sorts of people that I would worry about are people who are suffering from anorexia, from mental health uh, issues, um, and people who have a health condition that they are trying to understand, but um, accessing information that isn't actually misinformation can be really harmful. Social media, although it has many benefits, it can elevate those sorts of voices as well. And um, I think more needs to be done to address that. TikTok says it aims to approach eating disorder content with compassion. It says it does this by strictly removing content depicting, promoting, normalising or glorifying disordered eating. It added that it's constantly reviewing and extending a list of key words to which it applies search bans. See you again soon. Bye. Back at the drive through and Jessie is beaming after another successful challenge. For her, TikTok has changed life for the better. I have found I have a ways to cope with my speech now. And like before, I just like fought. I had to live a certain way. It's given me the confidence that nothing else ever could in this entire world.